So about eight months ago, I decided to build myself a wind turbine. I've been looking on YouTube as you do, and I saw lots of lots of videos on self-built wind turbines, and some of them were claiming some quite high performance figures, lots of power. So I wondered how true is this, and I thought well, the only way I'm going to find this out is to have a go myself. So I did, and I built this wind turbine, but I never actually did anything with it because my son uh, at the time decided he wanted a he was growing bigger, he wanted a bigger go-kart, so I decided to switch to the process of building him something, uh, you know, a bigger go-kart. So above here is a link to that video. If you want to have a look at it, please do. Um, now that's all done, I'm focusing back onto the wind turbine, and I want to show you guys how it goes. And today I'm hoping to mount the wind turbine on the workshop, if I can get it there. And so let me just take you off the mount and you can have a look at it. Right then, so here it is. Um, she's not the prettiest thing you've ever seen. Um, but I'm more interested to know if it actually does anything or not. Um, in summary, all it is is a couple of brake discs with the stator um, in between, made out of glass fibre. The blades are made out of four inch drain pipe. And it's all sort of held together with a bit of box section and a couple of bearings. Simple as that, really. So the biggest problem I got, and the reason I never went any further with it, other than the fact that I had another project, which is in the background there, um, was actually mounting it. You see, this workshop's probably five meters, six meters tall. Five, yes, it's, it's quite high. And this thing is actually quite heavy. I'm guessing probably somewhere between, yeah, probably about 30 kilos. And... I wasn't really comfortable about climbing a ladder with this thing on my shoulder, so I decided that I'd come up with a plan on how I can mount this thing onto the roof, uh, but also make it such that I can take it down with relative ease, uh, because essentially this is a test bench, and I should be modifying this as time goes on to sort of improve it, if indeed it needs improving, I don't know. So just before I put it on the roof, I thought I would show you the kind of voltage it's making um, just on the bench here. So what I've done is I've got this, this, this essentially three coils um, to make, well, it's a three phase um, generator and each phase is just a phase each here and the other end, which I can show you on the other side, are the the end of the coils each coil and on the setup i've got here i just link them all together and that gives you that's the most common um, form of setup for these kind of turbine or wind turbines so i've got it sort of uh, wired up to my meter which is set on ac which essentially is what this thing gives out and if i rotate it Gently, we get about one and a half volts, something like that. Maybe 1.8. So it is generating power. I'm not sure. I'm aiming for something that's over 12 volt because essentially the setup I've got for charging these my batteries, which are 12 volt batteries, uh, obviously it's going to need to chuck out more than 12 volt in order to be able to, um, to accomplish that task. So. I'm already not sure whether this is going to work, um, but we can only find out by trying. So here it is. Uh, it's essentially two brackets. The lower one takes all the weight. The upper one sort of stops it from moving from side to side. They're well mounted uh, against the, the block work, so it's not going anywhere. Uh, but the bit that I'm most pleased with is the actual uh, mechanism for lifting it. You see this 
is a pulley system because it's so heavy that I don't want to climb a ladder trying to lift this thing into place. So I've got the pulley uh, mounted uh, to my winch, which is over there, which I use for pulling vehicles, stranded vehicles into the uh, workshop when, when they won't drive in themselves. Uh, and so all I've got to do really is just operate it with a button, uh, which I'll show you now. Okay, uh, so we're ready. Um, mounted everything on there and it's all bolted up tight so it can't come off. I've put the wires on. Again, I haven't terminated them with some ring connectors or anything, uh, purely because I um, can't get them up through the pipe if I do. So that's why it's like that. So the tail is bolted on. Really all there's left to do is stand the hell out of the way and push the button. have to persuade the tail to rotate around. That's annoying. Means I've got to climb a ladder. That yeah, it was typical, wasn't it? Just as I was about to climb the ladder, it sorted itself out. Anyway, here we go. First time. A little bit gusty, and the wind direction is moving quite a bit, but going. Oh, it's encouraging. Is it producing any electric? That's the thing. One of the reasons I made this thing the size I did was that I know that this area is prone to sort of sporadic wind bursts, so it's not exactly a open area. It's got lots of trees and buildings, so we're not going to get clean here, um, but I thought that if I made it quite heavy, so there's quite a bit of momentum in those blades, so that actually it won't stall completely between gusts, and that maybe it will kind of keep going. And for the most part, it does seem to keep rotating. Uh, I might have to modify the tail a bit because it does sort of bounce around, but then the wind direction is a bit all over the shop today, so. Who knows? So this is the um, voltage according to this charge controller coming from the uh, turbine and it is as kind of expected, it's, it's very um, sort of up and down but for the most part it's underneath that critical kind of 12 13 volts which I was hoping to get so it looks like that overall I think that the speed of this well the blades are not going around fast enough to um, to sort of take it over that threshold As you can see, the speed, the wind speed is fluctuating quite a lot. Although the um, gauge I'm using to measure the, the wind is sort of it's not in the best place. It's kind of now it's sort of shielded by the van, but it won't. I don't think I've got enough range to put it anywhere further. But it kind of indicates that. A, a kind of nine or ten mile an hour speed, wind speed, gets you about to the point where it starts charging. So we're 
we're a few days on from the last clip and the wind turbines have been uh, steady on the roof. Um, we did have one issue actually where I had to bring it down and I'll, uh, basically what happened is it sheared one of the bolts off on the one of the props. Um, I think it was because it wasn't tight enough. Um, but I was quite surprised to, given that the fact that there's probably the, the wind speed was probably only about maximum about 10, 12 miles an hour, and and then it managed to shear one of the bolts. So it just proves that there is some power even at low speed. Uh, but yeah, so I addressed that. And but it, I was thinking all along that there's there is room for improvement. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to gear it up and see if I can stick another shaft on top of the uh, framework and actually chain drive it. Um, it should be interesting, and, but that's gonna wait till the next video. And really all it leaves me to say is, uh, if you've got any comments or any suggestions on how I can make this better, uh, your thoughts on, on it, I really am not an expert at this and I don't have really any kind of clue what I'm doing so uh, all the comments will be read and and you know and um, take any suggestions on board um, if you did like the video please give it a thumbs up if you don't like it give it a thumbs down at least I know which direction to uh, to make subsequent videos and all it leaves me to say is um, I hope you join for the next video where I'll see how it goes with gearing it up and hopefully we can get some real power out of this thing